Well, now we are going to come before the Lord and respond to the word that we just received from the Lord. And we're going to respond to it in prayer. And I want to encourage you, wherever you are, whether you're at home, maybe you're in your backyard, maybe you're in your car. <laughs> and if you're in your car and driving, well then, uh, you know, you might be limited in how uh, much you engage in prayer. But I want to encourage you to engage with the Lord in prayer. You may want to lift up your hands right where you're at and uh, worship the Lord. You may want to kneel wherever you are. You may want to go into a more quiet place. But I want to encourage you to engage with the Lord in prayer. Uh, prayer is very practical. It's simply communicating with God. And you can talk to God just as naturally as you talk to uh, your best friend or a loved one. Uh, just talk to God. He, he knows what's on your heart. He knows what's on your mind, but he wants to hear it from you. I know when it comes to my own wife and, and uh, uh, people that I care about deeply, they know that I love them, but it means something when you say it. And so prayer is really engaging with the Lord. So I want to encourage you to connect with the Lord in, in prayer here. Don't let me do all the praying. Sure, I may say something that provokes you to uh, share similar words, but uh, let this flow from your own mouth and your own heart and connect with God. You know, the Lord gave us a word, and the word is this, that the trajectory of your increase begins this year. It doesn't matter what it looks like in the natural. The trajectory of your increase begins this year. And I'm referring to, and the Lord is really referring to, the trajectory of increase in your marriage, in your finances, in your emotional health, in your ministry, in your calling. The trajectory of your increase begins this year. But it may look like it isn't possible by what you see in the natural. It looks like it's, it, it, it's not really the right kind of season. It's not the right time or place to uh, receive a hundredfold this year. Things are tough. Things are tight. Things are um, decreasing, it seems. You know, finances are, are uh, shriveling up economically around the world. But yet the Lord is saying, if you'll receive this word, the trajectory of your increase begins this year. But you know what that means. It means you have to be where the Lord has called you to be. And you need to sow what the Lord is calling you to sow. And as you will do those two things, you will receive a hundredfold this year and will continue to increase year over year over year. What I want us to do is I want us now to connect with the Lord. The first thing I, that is on my heart to pray is what, uh, what the Bible says. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present yourselves uh, a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. What I want us to do is just to uh, present ourselves to the Lord and say, Lord, I am presenting myself to you. Let it be to me according to your word. Let it be to me according to the plan that you have for my life. So let's come to the Lord. Let's present ourselves as vessels to the Lord, willing to do whatever it is that the Lord says to do. Right where you're at, will you engage with the Lord? Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. And I thank you so much that even before the foundations of the world, you knew us. You knew every person. You knew who I was. You know uh, who every person is that's even watching this right now. And you have prepared a plan in advance for every single one of us. For every person that is watching, you have a plan for them. And in your book, they've already been written. The days fashioned for each one of us. So Lord, we come to you and we present ourselves to you. Just right where you're at, just present yourself to the Lord. You may want to lift your hands. So, and if you can, lift up your hands. You may want to kneel. But let's come before the Lord and, and present ourselves. Lord, we present ourselves to you. I present myself to you, Lord. My spirit, my soul, and my body I present to you as a willing vessel to do what it is that you have called me to do to be who you have called me to be, to receive what you have called me to receive, 
to hear what it is that you are saying to me. So I yield myself to you. And just tell the Lord the same things, similar things. Let's yield ourselves to the Lord. We yield ourselves to you, Lord. I submit myself to you. I surrender my own plans. I surrender my own agendas. I look to you to be my source. I look to you to give me direction and to give me guidance, to provide for me, to direct my steps. So Lord, our eyes are on you. We keep our eyes on you, oh God. Our eyes are on you. Lord, there are so many things out there that can grab our attention and can tell us what to do in the natural. We can see what's in the news media. We can see the reports that are coming forth from government leaders and scientists and the medical community, maybe even financial news. And there is so much advice out there, so many opinions out there. But Lord, we want to do what it is that you tell us to do. We want to be where it is that you tell us to be. Lord, we want to move forward in the plan that you have laid out for us. So, Lord, I pray even now for every single one of us and those that are watching that our eyes be open to see distractions when they come our way, distractions to cause us to not be who you called us to be or do what it is you called us to do. May our eyes be opened to see those distractions so that we not go down paths that you have not put before us. So Lord, we even lay aside our own agendas. Let's lay aside even our own agendas, our own assumptions. Maybe you've had a certain idea of something and uh, you see it playing out a certain way. You have a certain plan. You've mapped out the pros and cons. Let's surrender that to the Lord and let's lay it aside and just say, Lord, I surrender even my own plans to you. Lord, we surrender our own plans. There is a way that seems right to a man. There's a way that may seem right to us, naturally thinking. Your word also says to trust in the Lord with all of our heart and lean not on our own understanding, but in all of our ways to acknowledge you and you direct our paths. So Lord, I pray for every person that we will not lean on even our own understandings. We will not lean on our own plans, our own agendas, but we acknowledge you and say, Lord, you direct our paths. There are many plans in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the Lord's counsel, that will stand. Our own plans will not stand the test of time. Our own plans will not receive the harvest that you have called us and appointed us to receive supernatural harvest. So Lord, we lay aside our own plans and say, your will be done. Right where you're at, we just tell the Lord, your will be done in my life. Your will be done in my ministry. Your will be done in my marriage. Your will be done in my finances. Your will be done in my life as it is in heaven. Not my will, not the will of others. Your will be done in my life. Let's declare that uh, with one another. Your will be done in my life, not my will. Remember Jesus in his prayer, he said, not as I will, not my plans, not my agenda, not my thoughts and desires but yours be done. So Lord, we present ourselves to you. We yield ourselves to you as willing vessels. 
And now, Lord, I pray for every person that is watching this right now and as we are engaging in prayer, that you will show us, maybe remind us, maybe confirm to us where it is that you have called us to live and to dwell. The ministry that you've called us to, the church that you have planted us in, that no matter what it looks like in the natural, no matter what it, what's happening around us economically, that if you have called us there, we will stay. Will you just commit that to the Lord? I will be where you have called me to be. I will stay where you have called me to stay. I will remain where you have called me to remain. I will not take a detour. I will not take an off-ramp. Even if it looks like there is no provision, even if it looks like it's hardship and it's a wilderness and it's drying up, if you have called me here, I will stay. Will you just declare that with the Lord right now and make that commitment to the Lord to be where it is the Lord has called you to be? You see, there are so many church hoppers out there and there are so many people who even quit ministries left and right. You know, I'm doing this, maybe even in the same church, but they leave this ministry to join this ministry to join that ministry and they never receive because they don't stay planted in what it is the Lord's called them to. And I'm not suggesting that the Lord doesn't uh, lead us and uh, bring us place to place. Of course the Lord uh, does that. But I think far too often we uproot ourselves and we transfer ourselves and we just move on to a new place or a new location because it looks like greener pastures or it looks like, wow, this, this really seems more promising, but we, we, we leave what it is the Lord has called us to. And maybe we leave prematurely, but you know who you are and you know what the Lord has called you to. And the Lord may be calling you to do something new right now. He very well may. But stay where the Lord has called you to stay. Be where the Lord has called you to be. Don't just uproot prematurely. But let's commit to be where the Lord has called us to be. So Father, we choose today. We will be where you've called us to be. We'll stay planted in the church where you've called us to be planted. Because you are our shepherd. <laughs> you are our provider. No matter what it looks like in the natural, we will be where you've called us to be because in your presence, there's fullness of joy. In your presence, of course, we know, is blessing and provision and security because you care about us. So Lord, you don't want us just to stay in a place of famine to not provide for us. No, you will provide for us. So I thank you, Lord, for that. I pray, Lord, that for people that have found themselves off track, maybe they've already taken an off-ramp. Maybe they're, they've left the church where you've planted them to be in, or they've left the ministry or quit the ministry, and you're calling them back, much like what happened with Abram when he left Egypt and went back to the place where he encountered you. I pray, Lord, that you will speak to those right now that are off track and lead them right back to the place where you've called them to be. Praise God that you will redeem the time and that they will begin to see the promises come to pass and they'll receive fruitfulness because they return to the place where you've called them to be. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. If that's you, return to the place where the Lord has called you to be. Return to the place where the Lord has called you to be. And the last thing I want us to pray about is we've not only surrendered ourselves to the Lord and yielded ourselves to the Lord, but we're, we are committing to be where the Lord has called us to be. But the third thing is let's sow where the Lord has called us to sow. So don't just be there, sow. Don't just be present, be active. Activate your ministry, activate things in your marriage, activate things in your family, activate things at work. Whatever those things are the Lord's called you to, do it. <laughs> Step out and sow. So Father, 
I pray for every person that you give us each individually wisdom and instruction on what to sow, how to sow, uh, why to sow, when to sow. And as we sow bountifully, according to what your word says, that if we sow bountifully, we will reap bountifully. So I pray, and let's pray, and let's commit to the Lord that we are going to sow into the calling where the Lord has us and what he has called us to do. So Lord, we choose this day to sow into our ministries, to sow at our church, to sow into our marriage, to, to do the things you've called us to do. And according to the word that we have received from you today, the trajectory of our increase begins this year because we receive your word, we surrender ourselves to you, we align ourselves to your word, we will stay planted where you've called us to be. And as we do that, and so we receive a hundredfold this year and we declare it in Jesus' mighty name and say the trajectory of our increase begins this year. God is good. Praise God. God bless you. Hi, I'm Jerry Dearman. Thank you for watching today. To not miss out on any of our videos, you can subscribe by clicking here. Or to watch another video, you can click here. Go ahead, pick one.